My name is Emily Villa. I'm Chief Storyteller at Better Business Bureau, serving the Snake River region. Believe it or not, it's nearly tax season again. Just after the first of the year, we're getting ready for that big April 15th deadline. Well, IRS scam artists are in play, and we've seen plenty of IRS scams already in Idaho and in Southern Idaho, lots of calls to Better Business Bureau. Here's how this works. You get a phone call. Often it's from an unidentified number, or it may even appear on your phone as a 208 number. It's just a spoofed area code. And the scam artist says, you owe taxes and you need to pay right away, either by prepaid visa card, wire transfer, or we're going to arrest you. And that can be kind of scary. Taxes are kind of complicated, so you don't really know quite what to do. Well, one thing to keep in mind is the IRS is never going to call you and demand immediate payment. And the IRS will not ask for payment via a prepaid card or through wire transfer. If you do actually owe the IRS money, you'll have time to go through that process, ask a lot of questions, and you'll have time to make that payment. Now, the reverse of this is some people get the IRS scam call saying, hey, we owe you a refund. We just need your bank account number and your social security number. Well, the IRS is never going to ask for that information over the phone via email, text message, and they're not going to contact you saying, hey, we owe you this refund. That's what you have to do through your taxes. So keep that in mind. If you get phone calls from claiming to be from the IRS, hang up, don't talk to them, and you can always call the real IRS and ask if there is any problems with your taxes and they'll help you out from there.